Now it's walking along the path, around the wall, and to the finish. Hey everybody, Shabu here, back from another video, and today I'll be showing you how to use pathfinding in Roblox. So the first thing we're going to want to do is make our first points. But before we do that, we need to make sure we have the correct tools. So go to View at the top, click on Properties, and Explorer. Now these will appear on your screen. You can see Workspace and all that, and Properties. So you can go back to Home, and then click Part. We're going to make a part for our start point. And click it and drag it to move it. I'm just going to move it right there. And then you can also scale it by going back up here. And then clicking scale. You can use these and drag it to scale it. After you're done customizing it, you can go to Explorer. Right click the part inside of Workspace. Click Rename. Then rename it to start. This will be our starting point. Now we're going to duplicate it. So right click it. And then click duplicate. Now it looks the exact same. But actually if you drag it, there's another part inside of it. So I can drag it away. You can customize that. Now we're going to rename this to finish. So right click, rename, and then finish. So this is our start and this is our finish for our pathfinding. Now we're going to want to make a script. So go on workspace, right click it, insert object, and then script. This will be the script we're going to be using in coding inside. So now that you have the code, you're going to start coding. So you can remove this. Now we're going to start with some variables. The first variable is going to be the start. So local start equals workspace dot start. And then local finish equals workspace dot finish. Now we're going to need another variable for the service we're going to use. So local service equals game get service pathfinding service. Now that we have our service and all that, we're going to want to make a path. So local path equals service find path async. And then the start position, so it knows where to start. And the finish dot position, so it knows where to go to. Now that we have our path, we need to find the points inside of the path so we can show where it's going. So local points equals path get waypoints. Make sure the capitals are correct and you have colons. And now we're going to make a for loop to make sure we can find all the points. So for key, a colon, or a comma, value, and then in pairs, and then we're going to put points. Then put do at the end. If you press enter after pressing after making the do, then it will make an end right here. Now we're going to want to show the points. So local part goes instance dot new part. part.parent equals workspace because it needs to be inside of workspace to be shown. Part.anchored equals true so it doesn't fall or get off the path. We can make it can collide equals false so nothing can touch it and it can't touch anything. And then we can set its position to part.position equals value.position which would be the waypoint we're editing right now. Then you have your path, and we'll show where the path's going. So let's go to back to base plate. 
and then click Run. Now it will show the path that it took to get to the finish. We're going to resize it so it looks a lot better. So part dot size equals vector three dot nil one one one. And we go back to base plate. Then we click run and it will show an accurate path. And we press stop. Now what if we put a wall? So if you put a wall right here, it will go around the wall. Like that. But what if it can't get to the finish? So let's move it up, all the way up there, using the move tool. You can select it right here. Now if you click run, It simply won't make a path. So we're going to make a character. We're going to go to plugins up here and then build a rig. Go to R6 or R15, it doesn't matter. I'm going to use R6. Block rig or any other rig. Then we can move it to where we want to start. We can remove the start. And then we can go back to our script. Then we're going to change it up a bit. So we're going to make it actually walk. So we're going to make a variable for the um, character. So local character equals workspace dot dummy or whatever you named the character and then we're going to get the humanoid because we need to access the humanoid inside of it to make it move around so let's go to back to the script and then humanoid equals character wait for child humanoid is the humanoid might be lo might not be loaded yet inside of the character so we're going to wait for that, for it to be loaded. And then now, we're going to add a wait. So it's going to wait one second. And then humanoid.walk2 point equals part. So it's going to walk to the new part that is created using the pathfinding. I'm actually going to lower this a bit. So 0 0.5 would be a good amount. And then we can go back to base plate. Make sure the dummy is not anchored or the character. So click, click the dummy or select it. And then click that, make sure it's highlighted and then click it again. So nothing is anchored inside of it. It can move around freely and all that. So I'm gonna click run. then it should be able to walk around. Although it's not. Now, since we don't know why it's not moving, we don't know what to do. So we're going to go to stop, view, and then output. This will tell you what went wrong inside of the script. So we didn't remove the start variable. So we're gonna go back to the script, then remove that. And we're also going to change this. So this will also, also make a error. So character dot torso dot position. Now we're gonna go back to base plate, go back to home, and then click run. And it's still not working. Oh, we forgot to put the part dot position. It's not walking to a specific part. It's supposed to walk to a position. So go back to base plate, then click run. Now it should walk 
along the path. It's still not. Maybe that's because it's starting from right here and not right there. So we're going to put minus vector 3.new 0, 2, 0. So it goes down two studs to the floor. Then it should work. It should have a path to follow. And this was still up there. Now it's walking along the path, around the wall, and to the finish. Thanks for watching. Make sure to smack that like button and punch that subscribe button. Peace.